Hey guys, I'm back. I hope you guys had a good weekend, good week. I know I said I was gonna start doing videos every Wednesday, but there's some things that have been happening on like social media in the fashion world that I feel like that needs to be said. It's really important, so just bear with me. So the first thing that um, I recently found on Instagram from the Sudanese um, supermodel, Nakor, beautiful, beautiful African model, gorgeous amazing and she recently said on her instagram saying dear white people in the fashion world please don't take this the wrong way but it's time you people get your ish right when it comes to your complexion why do i have to bring my own makeup to a professional show when all the other white girls don't have to do anything but show up WTF. Don't try to make me feel bad because I am blue black. It's 2015. Go to MAC, Bobby Brown, Makeup Forever, Iman Cosmetics, Black Opal, even Lancome and Kalini carried them much, plus so much more. There's so much opinion, I mean options, out there for dark skin tones today. A good makeup artist would, com could, would compare and do their research before coming to work because oftentimes you know what to expect, especially at a show. Stop apologizing, it's insulting and disrespectful to me and my race. It doesn't help, seriously. Make an effort at least. This goes for New York, London, Milan, Paris, Cape Town, plus everywhere else that has issues with black skin tones. Just because you have only you only book a few of us doesn't mean you have the right to make us look ratchet. I'm tired of complaining about not getting booked as a black model. I'm definitely super tired of apologizing for my blackness. Fashion is art, art is never racist. It should be inclusive of all not only white people ish we started fashion in africa and we modernized it and copied it why can't we be part of the fashion fully and equally so my thoughts on that is first off you should never apologize for your blackness you should never apologize for being you it's how god made you it's how you were created you should never have to apologize for that Secondly, I definitely feel Nekor on this. Nekor, Nekor on this. Um, I do watch fashion shows, and I really pay attention to how many you know, bad, women of color that I see going on the runway. And lately, you know, you see them here and there, but you don't see them enough. There's so many other races on the runway from white to Asian that's seen a lot. And, you know, you don't really see a lot of women of color. And it just makes me wonder why. You know, our style, you take it from the black culture, and like she said, you modernize it. You try to make it yours. You try to make it different. You innovate it, but, you know, well, basically, we kind of innovate, but you take it and you call it something different. And you think it's new, but it's nothing really new. But um, I totally feel her on that. And another thing, that's really unprofessional for a makeup artist to come to a show, especially like, you know, Paris Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, or any type of big show. And they don't have anything for, you know, women of color that are, you know, more, not as light skin, like my complexion, or, you know, darker tones. And it, it kind of, it hurts. Even though I'm a, you know, lighter toned sister. <laughs> But it hurts, you know, to see that and they can't provide. I've witnessed that in like some shows and I've worked in fashion shows with darker models, lighter models than me. And sometimes I don't have what they you know what we need. I've been made my makeup, I've been made looking white and I'm just like, wow, I look crazy. But um I totally feel not car on this. And lately, um, Naomi Campbell did a interview. Even though I'm a, you know, lighter toned sister, <laughs> but it hurts, you know, to see that and they can't provide. I've witnessed that in like some shows and I've worked in fashion shows with darker models, lighter models than me. And sometimes I don't have what they you know what we need. I've been made, my makeup, I've been made looking white and I'm just like, wow, I look crazy. But um, I totally feel not car on this. And lately, um, Naomi Campbell did a interview with the photographer Nick Knight talking about um, her support group for um, black models. 
and this is what she said in the interview well what it said and i'll post the um link below so you guys can read it and look up the video also reese it says on the shrine in the shine recently i know campbell talked to photographer nick knight about the issues of racism in the fashion industry and support group she created to push for diversity in the fashion world in 2013, Campbell, Iman, Bethan, Hardison teamed up with um, to start a campaign to call out anti-blackness in the fashion industry. Campbell says she uses the app WhatsApp to create solidarity from black models. The group includes models Jordan Dunn, Joan Smalls, Malika Firth, Riley Montana, and more. So basically, Naomi is on the same page. She feels like there should be more black models seen in the fashion industry and it should be equal. And we all know Miss Naomi Campbell is like the reigning queen of the runway. She's gorgeous. You cannot, no, no. <laughs> Let me not start my run on Miss Naomi. But um, she totally feels the same way. And I feel like it's great. I feel like it's great that she started a support group for, you know, black models. And she named a few that are that we see a lot. Jordan Dunn, hot on the scene. Um, Joanne Smalls crazy like she's up there you know and they still get turned down for things which is crazy and she even mentioned in the um interview that she would calls from um models saying that they were booked for a show but the night before they get turned down which is really crazy and it hurts it sucks to see that happen and she also mentioned i'm probably um kind of blurry on this but there were 7% more Asian models on the runway than black models. Very interesting. You know, if, you, if you're gonna make your show very diverse, why can't you have more women of color, black models on your runway? And that's just my question. I'm concerned about it. But, um, yeah. I totally feel that there should be diversity more in the fashion industry. I'm not bashing any, you know, anybody, um, anybody at all. I just feel that there should be more diversity. It's stop using black women as a trend, as something that, oh, that looks good, this should look good in the show, but no, really don't want to put them all in the show. Use them. Everyone's beautiful, we're all beautiful humans inside and out, and it's flesh me more diverse in the industry, especially. So please um like, comment, comment, comment below. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will definitely answer them for you guys. And also you can look at the video that she had, the interview with the different photographer Nick Knight below. I will post it on there. So yeah, make sure you guys look for a video every Wednesday starting. But I just feel like this video had to be put out. So I will see you guys Wednesday. Thanks for watching The Factor. Be true, be you. Peace, love, and everything positive. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys, for tuning in again. Make sure you guys tune in every Wednesday for a new video. And hopefully you guys will subscribe and like. Be you and stay true.